Okay, now we want to talk about more on how to adjust the bindings on snowboards. The first thing to pay attention to when adjusting the bindings on the snowboard is to detect the nose and tail of it. As the true twin snowboards are symmetrical, it doesn't matter on which side you adjust the bindings. But on directional snowboards, it's important to recognize the nose and the tail of it at first. Look at the sides of the snowboard and the screw place. The side with more distance between the screws to the end of the board is the nose of the board, and the lesser is the tail of it. One of the things to consider about the bindings and adjusting them is that bindings have left and right foot, which is usually appears on the back of it. One way to identify the binding superficially is that binding buckles are outward. To have a standard distance between the two bindings, measure the distance between your knee and your heel. It should be the same distance as the center of the binding plates to each other. If you have any doubt about your measurements, you can use the default place laid on your snowboard. For the angle of the bindings on snowboard, usually for beginners, it's better to adjust the front foot with an angle of positive 10 to positive 15 degrees and the rear foot, which in our last video said is the stronger leg, with an angle of 0 to negative 5. For those who practice freestyle, this angle is a little bit different. Usually the front foot is adjusted between positive 10 to positive 15 degrees and the back foot is between 0 to negative 15 degrees. For those who like free ride and want to get more pace, both bindings are adjusted with positive angle. After adjusting the bindings, one of the most important things to consider is that the binding high backs should be parallel to the arm of the snowboard.